Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see all of you. Now, lately I have been getting this request a lot. A few requests a day asking questions in my inbox. And while I have responded to some of you, I haven't responded to all of you and I felt like it is my due diligence to tell you what I know. Now, what have people been asking? People have been asking, how do I know if I'm having a little person? And I know that that may sound like such an odd question, but I have an answer. Now, the number one thing that you need to know is that I am not a doctor. This is solely an opinion and life experiences of my own. So take what you want as you wish and all that good jazz. So I have achondroplasia and you're able to tell that you're having an acon in the womb. Usually around your third trimester when you're getting your sonogram, you will tell that the arms and the are shorter and the head is larger. It usually measures between the 80th to the 100th percentile. Um, just an example, Magnolia was in the 90th percentile. Penelope was over the 100. I believe she was like, they didn't have a number for her. So big head, big brain. This doesn't always happen immediately. Now, the way that you can tell definitely is having an amnio or a CVS test. That's how you tell in the womb. Now the questions that I've been receiving are from foster parents and from adoption parents. Now sometimes people are adopting children from other countries or in foster situations, you don't know what that child looks like before maybe 2 a.m. when that child comes in. How do you tell if this child is a little person? First and foremost, you need to see a genetics counselor. I recommend a genetics counselor. Now, not all genetics counselors know the right genes to look for. And here's where it gets a little tricky. I recommend to go to a website, lpaonline.org. Sometimes when geneticists don't Sometimes when geneticists don't know what they're looking for, they don't know how to test correctly when it comes to blood. Now what I recommend is finding a geneticist on lpaonline.org who can basically backpack on your geneticist of choice. Now, with that said, what type of little person your child is, most of the time they diagnose them as achondroplasia. This is a very common misdiagnose and it doesn't mean that your child has achondroplasia. They may have another type of dwarfism. Now the crazy thing is there are over 300 different types of dwarfism. Some of them only have one diagnosis, as in there's only one person that has that specific type of dwarfism. Some of them are also a lot more common. Achondroplasia, pseudoachondroplasia, hypochondroplasia, diastrophics, SED, primordials, these are all types of dwarfism that I've actually met multiple people with those diagnoses, but that doesn't mean that they're very common. Now with pseudoachondroplasia, as I said in an earlier video, you actually won't see that your child is little until around the age of two. So unless you did an amnio or a CVS test, you won't be able to know if your child has pseudoachondroplasia until those growth plates start slowing down around the age of two. Now, if you suspect that your child is little, I recommend that, again, you get a geneticist, you have a blood panel done, and check. Now, the ACON gene is FGFR3. FGFR3, we have located the ACON gene. Now, when you're looking at pseudos, there's actually many different comp genes that are considered pseudoachondroplasia. So you wanna look for the comp gene in the blood panel. Hopefully I have helped you. If you do have a little person, congratulations. You basically just won the lottery. It's one in 30,000. And just know that you're not alone. There's a lot of parents out there that feel like they're very alone. Most little people are born to two average sized parents. So you are not alone. Secondly, visit lpaonline.org. This is not any kind of sponsored video. This is just a resource that you can use in order to get more information about your child. All the best to you and thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We'll be doing more videos like this. Talk to you later, bye.